This is a video from Penguin Refrigeration specifically for 12 volt Danfoss compressor fridges. If you don't have a 12 volt Danfoss compressor fridge, this video is not for you. The Danfoss compressor fridge looks pretty much like this. There are various makes and models, but the common denominator is they all use the same compressor, which is a Danfoss BD35 or BD50. They will all have an electrical box which looks like this, and generally they will run from a battery. For the demonstration we're going to do now, we're going to use a power pack which will give us 12 volt DC. It's exactly the same power that would come out of a battery. So where do we start? If we want to know if a fridge is working, I guess the first thing is to open the door and see if the interior light is on. If there's no light, that would suggest to me there's no power. Clearly, I've forgotten to turn my power pack on, so that would mean no power. So if I turn the power pack on, we've now got 12.5 volts. We should see an interior light on, which we can. So now I would expect my compressor to start and my fridge to run. Unfortunately, the fan isn't running, the compressor isn't running, and if we look at our amps, we have no amps going through. So our fridge is still not running. Next thing we would check is the thermostat. Thermostat can be found up here on this particular model. Again, normally on a small fridge, it's a mechanical thermostat. You just turn it, um, and if you turn them all the way back, they turn off. So if I turn this, actually it was off, so I'll turn it on, I'll turn it clockwise, and I can hear it click. So now my fridge should be running. Okay, again, if I look around, I thought I heard something, but mistaken, no power, no supply to it. So what would we do next? The next thing we would do is isolate the thermostat, find out if the thermostat is the problem. The best way to check the thermostat is to use a link out wire. Very simply, a wire like this with two connections on each end. So what I'm going to do is down at the compressor, I'm going to unplug the thermostat which goes onto the C and T connections. The T is the very bottom one, the C is the third one up. I'm then going to put my link out wire onto those two connections to make that circuit. If the thermostat's faulty, the fridge should now start because we've made the circuit on the thermostat. And I can hear the fan is running. If I put my hand on the compressor, the compressor is vibrating. So it looks like we've found our fault. So having linked out the thermostat, when the compressor is now running, the fan is working, and the plate inside the fridge is getting cold once more. So we know what the problem is. We need to replace the thermostat with a new one, which looks something like this, and then we are back to a working fridge again.